Now let's go to another wireless communication protocol, which is called Z-Wave. Z-Wave also has a specific application. Actually, it is the communication protocol used primarily for the smart home network or a smart home application. So for the smart home application, we generally use Z-Wave, allowing smart devices to connect and exchange control commands and the data with each other with two-way communication through mass network and message acknowledgement. So we can send the, uh, send the message as well as we can send the acknowledgement. The Z-Web protocol help uh, uh, elevate power issues and bring low cost wireless connectivity to home automation, offering a low power alternative to Wi-Fi and a large, lane, uh, large range alternative to Bluetooth. So it says that, that uh, the Z-Wave can, can um, uh, somehow uh, work as Wi-Fi and it will enhance the range more than the Bluetooth. So we can use it for the alternative of Wi-Fi or we can use it for alternative of Bluetooth. z network consists of Internet of Things devices are primarily controlled, also known as smart home hub. So as I told you, this Z-Wave network has a specific application. It will use in a smart home application. And the device that will use is, is called home, uh, a smart home hub, which is only device in Z-Wave network that is usually connected to the internet. So here the hub is the gateway, you can see. Then the Z-Wave hub receives the command from the uh, smart home application on the user smartphone, tablet, or the computer. It routes the command to its destination devices across network was up to 232 devices, including the hub. So you can see 232 devices, including the hub, means 231 devices we can connect. Means three, 231 appliances in home we can connect with the smart hub home hub, which is working in Z-Wave. And there are the smart uh, phone connectivity. The user will give its uh, command to different applications. It will go to the hub and hub will directly send these data or these uh, signals to the devices. Using source uh, uh, rooted mesh network technology, Z-Wave signals can hop through other Z-Wave devices to reach the device to use uh, uh, device a user intended to control. Each Z-Web network uh, accommodates a maximum of four hubs. So four hubs uh, uh, means, uh, see, four hubs means if I am Z-Wave hub is sending the signal to the one device, that one device will send the signal to another device, then another device will send the signal to another device. In that way, the four hub communication is possible in Z-Wave. The Z-Wave protocol operate in low uh, frequency 8098.42 uh, uh, megahertz band in US, 868.42 megahertz band in Europe uh, through interface with other uh, home electronics such as cordless phone if possible. The protocol avoid inter interference with the 2.8 gigahertz band where Wi-Fi and Bluetooth operate. Z-Wave offers a uh, transmission rate of a small data packets using the throughput rate of 9.6 kbps, 40 kbps and 100 kbps. The Z-Wave physical and the MAC layer is based on ITUT. So it is not based on IEEE 802.15.4. It is based on the ITUT that is uh, some, some uh, standardization uh, uh, institutions are there, ITUT, uh, G9959 global radio standard. It is based on that. The protocol uses uh, JFSK uh, modulation and Manchester encoding. So it will use uh, this uh, Gaussian something. Uh, G. Frequency shift key modulation. Okay. 
Gaussian frequency shift key modulation, or it will use the Manchester uh, encoding technique. It also include uh, AES eight zero two point uh, sorry eight zero uh, one twenty eight encryption AES one twenty eight encryption IPv six and multi channel operation. That AES is also called that is the private key or symmetric key encryption technique. Uh, that is called uh, advanced encryption technique in which one twenty eight key is used for encryption and decryption. The decrypting the packet.